Welcome friends, welcome back to Cocktails After Dark, a little video series where I'm exploring cocktails and then using different base spirits to see how that changes the flavor to try and find out what I like. Today we're going to do a cocktail from 1937 called the Greenfly, and it is pretty much a gin and chartreuse cocktail, lemon juice and gum syrup. Now, it calls for Boothby's London Dry Gin. And that is not a brand that I can get where I live. So the obvious choice would be to use one of these London Dry Gins. Um, but I already know that I don't like Beefeater. Uh, I've tried it in a few cocktails and the flavor never seems quite right to me. The other obvious choice would be Gordon's London Dry Gin. Um, not a big favorite of mine either. Uh, in fact, I've, there's a little bit left in this bottle. This bottle's been hanging around for a long time. Um, it was distilled in Canada by UDV Canada. So I just looked that up and I thought, that's kind of interesting. Uh, I thought Gordon's was Diageo. Um, and it, Gordon's is Diageo. UDV produced this uh, for Gordon's for a time um, in Canada. And they went out of business probably 20 years or more ago when Diageo bought the whole thing up. So that's been hanging around a while. I don't think I want to use it. I'm going to use Angava and uh, the Dillons, which I know both go well with the chartreuse. So let's get right into the cocktail. We're going to start out with, uh, this is a shaken cocktail, so we're going to start out with a little bit of gum syrup and I'm going to put a bar spoon worth of gum syrup in the bottom of my shaker glass. Then we need to put in the gin. So we need an ounce and a third of gin and of course the recipe is below the video. Third of an ounce of chartreuse and a third of an ounce of lemon juice. I'm just going to stir to get the gum syrup off the bottom of that spoon. Ice the tin and shake. and dump the ice out of the glass. And this will get a double strain. And we'll make the second one, same as the first. Okay. Right back at it. So, bar spoon of gum syrup. Gum syrup uh, is really nice because it, it coats the inside of your mouth. It brings sweetness, but it coats the inside of your mouth. And that coating helps to release flavor slowly. Um, so you kind of experience the cocktail long after you've swallowed. The flavors just sort of develop and, and fill your mouth in a way that that you just don't get with simple syrup. And that's something that I really like. So, um, so at this point when I see cocktails that just call for simple syrup, I will sometimes put in gum syrup instead just because I like the flavor that it brings or the flavor experience that it brings. Um, it's kind of hard to describe until you've tasted it. So, ice in the tin and we give it a shake. Lose the ice and double strain. And straight off the top, you know which is which just based on color. Okay, so this is called the Green Fly, and I'm expecting to like this cocktail. Um, just based on the ingredients and the combinations, I think I'm really going to enjoy it. First off, the Dillons. Um, definitely right on the nose, you know that it's gin. Uh, the chartreuse is coming through, but it's sort of really soft in the background, and I'm not getting any lemon on the nose at all. Okay. Um, Maybe not as balanced as I'd like it to be. 
Uh, you are getting the spicy note coming out pretty prominently from the Dillon's Gin. This is made with a rye based spirit. So it's got those spicy notes that you kind of expect with a rye. Let's try the Ungava. Uh, the Ungava on the nose, I'm getting much more of the chartreuse, the woody, the woody tones from the chartreuse. Um, it's strange, I'm getting like a spice shop. Uh, you know when you walk into a spice shop and you've got all of the spices mixed together, the smells? That's what I'm getting here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the one with the Ungava is a much more balanced cocktail to me. Uh, the one with the Dillon's has some harsh notes. Um, it just doesn't come together. The parts aren't working well together, which is surprising because in the past I've really liked the Dillon's in other cocktails. Yeah, not as nice to me. The Ungava definitely wins this one. And I'm kind of surprised. Um, I know that a lot of people are going to look at this and say that's not what gin is supposed to look like. But it has this other range of botanicals that you don't normally find in gins. Uh, that really seems to lend itself well to a lot of mixed cocktails. Um, I find it very interesting. It's not something that if I saw this in the liquor store, I probably wouldn't take a chance on it. Uh, but I, I got a chance to taste it uh, at an event one time and I just came back to it. Yeah. So the Greenfly, another gin and chartreuse cocktail. Um, this is a handy little thing to have in your cocktail bar. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.